Hey guys, and welcome back to Medal of Honor. When we last left off, we were going on a rampage, destroying all of the heavy water. Let's continue. It's been a little while since I've played this. Um, ah, Betrayal in the Telemark. Page one. Okay, Colonel Hargrove did his best to explain your mission to me. But I think I understand more about it than he does. An old boyfriend, uh, male acquaintance of mine works for OSRD and explained what the Germans are up to. Apparently, they're now realising the potential of what this weapon can do and are trying to desperately make up for lost time. Unfortunately, that means they've been forced to put, uh, what's the expression? All of their eggs in one basket when it comes to the heavy water production. This strike against the Rajukan plant should put an end to their atomic program once and for all, provided that you destroy all of the remaining supplies of D2O left in the facility. Ah, Rajukan. Yeah, there was a project in Halo called Rajukan, and that was the uh, the big walking mechs. What are they? What are, what were they called in Halo Five and Halo Four? Can't remember now, but they were awesome. But the project uh, where the um, Oni produced them was called Rajukan, which I only found out recently. Uh, but yeah, there are four giant storage vats that contain the processed deuterium oxide. Reverse the flow control, then locate the plant's emergency release valve and flush all of the D2O out into the storm channel. As you exfoliate, try to secure a copy of the facility's delivery schedule so that we can be sure none of the heavy water made it off the site. Finally, for good measure, disable any transport vehicles you find in the garage. All righty then. I think we can do that. Now this level was a bit of a bastard. Because of the enemy concentration. There is a lot of health on this level. But you can be an arse nonetheless. Right, let's go peek. Hey friendo! Yeah. Accuracy, motherfucker. Ooh, nade. Damn you. Accuracy, Peterson. Do you have it? Obviously not. Alright. <sighs> right, we're going to have to be careful. We're going to sneak our little ass around. Oh, hello. See what I mean? Enemies. Enemies everywhere. Enemies out the ass. In the ass. Up the ass. Lots of ass related enemies. Basically. Ooh. You just throw a grenade. They get pretty liberal with their grenades from now on. And we don't have any, remember. We still don't have any grenades. It's really not on. Gentlemen. Oh, hi there. Nice to see you're just chilling out. Some of us are actually trying to work here. Really? Come on. Right, he's dead. Using lots of shotgun shells here. But that's fine. That's why we have them. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you. In the ass. Up the ass with broken glass. Right. Nice. Let's just hoover up all of this stuff. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, lots of health on this level, which is fine. We are going to endeavor to die. Also, good news, everybody. Um... I've been enjoying playing Resident Evil. Shock. Who would have thought that? But finally, I've managed to get Operation Raccoon City. Oh, fuck. Working. And I really want to revisit it. Oh, hey, guys. Because my original LP of that game was terrible. Like a lot of my old LPs. Well, my new stuff's terrible as well, but you know what I mean. I think I can do better. I also really want to go back to Operation Raccoon City to see if it was just as awful as I kind of remember it. Okay, especially with the news that's very heavily rumoured at the moment that um, Operation Raccoon City 2 is in development. We don't know if anything's going to come of these rumours. But, you know what? I, for one, like the idea of that. Sadly, Operation Raccoon City, at, at least on the PC, you can't play it multiplayer anymore. Oh, fuck, because they shut down the games for Windows Live servers. 
<sighs> and it's just a pain to get running, let alone multiplayer. Fuck you, dude. Yeah, we got him. We got him. Suck on that, you big sack of shit. Right. Start uh, dumping out this heavy water. Gee, I hope this water doesn't have like an adverse effect to the environment. I actually don't really know a lot about heavy water, to be honest. But killing all their scientists is probably going to help the war effort. Probably. It's all quiet here. Well, that's half of their supply gone. <laughs> oh, hey, friend. Hey, where are you running to? No running, kids. We've already been over this. Whoa, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. Holy shit, the PlayStation is running at two frames a second. And that's me being generous. Damn you. Too many polygons on screen. There's at least five. They do like to hide behind these boxes as well. Oh, f what the fuck? What? You guys saw that, right? You guys saw that. He was there. And then he wasn't there. That was a bit of bullshit, if I say so myself. Okay, luckily, there was that med kit back here. Yeah, we're taking a beating. This will not do. This will not do at all. Now, where was that med kit? Up here. It ain't great, but it's a step in the right direction. So there we are, I get patched up. Holy hell, though. Yeah, the enemies don't mess around on this level. But that's okay. We're not here to play around either. We're here to kick ass and take names. Although, maybe we don't want their names. Ooh, hey. Hey, Bao. Hey, 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 hey. Uh-oh. Got one up high. Ooh, evening. Take cover behind that box, will ya? Not on my watch. Stupid Nazis, honestly. <laughs> you had brains to be dangerous. Uh, to be fair, they are plenty. They're plenty dangerous without brains, to be honest. Ah, oh, nice. That's untrue, of course. The Nazis were actually very, very smart. At least Hitler. Hitler was actually a genius. Um, he was an asshole, obviously. Like, hello, it was Hitler. But he was a very clever bloke. Right. Nice. That's most of that gunk expunged. Oh. We've got more. I think there's like 47 enemies to kill here, I think. Oh, hey, friend. Suck on that. Oh, God, look at them all. Look at them all. No hiding. There's no point in hiding. There really isn't, because I can just, like, shoot through your cover. And that pleases me quite a lot. Liberal use of ammunition. They can't say we're not a giver. Oh, fuck. We don't like receiving around here. We're more of a giver. That's for sure. Oh, flank him. I don't think so. I'm just going to saw you all in half with my large gun here. Oh, hello. Wait, where did he come from? Uh, enemies, like, appearing. Oh, fuck. My phone's going nuts. <gasps> I know what that is. I need to check something a minute because I'm... Okay, it's not what I thought it was. Bidding on stuff on eBay because, of course, I am. Uh, right. I've seen so many PlayStation games that I want to get. Why do I want to get them? To let's play them, of course, and do Titan tries. So many. Right, that's the way we need to go. But we're going to sneak down here. Let's get this out. We like this. Hang on. Oh, this is the way we came. I guess all the bullet holes lining the wall gave it away. Ah, oh, nice. Right, let's go. Onwards. Uh, cool. Said Dan. Hey, friend. Don't mind me. 
I'm just here to take your lives. In the most painful way possible, hopefully. Oh, God. Dude, you had me. I was literally putty in your hand. I gift-wrapped myself for you. But you didn't take the opportunity. And you shall pay dearly for your mistakes. Uh oh. There we go. And how? How are you still alive? Did that guy have god mode on? I think he did. I think he was cheating. Now, there was that... F oh god, one behind us. There was that field surgeon kit. If we need it. Which, at this rate, we probably might. Oh god, stress. Oh, who's shouting at me? Stop shouting at me. I will get to all of you eventually. Literally, okay? There's plenty of death to go around. In fact, ooh, hell, that grenade just slid out of his pocket there. Son of a bitch. Can you die, please? Yes. Nice. Okay, that'll do. Ooh, that's the files we need. Get that shitty box out of the way. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. And a med kit. Lovely. So there we have the delivery schedule. We just got to locate the garage. Oh, sorry, a garage. Um, which is down here. Got loads of ammo for the bar as well. Ooh, fuck. Which is nice. Sit down and shut the fuck up. Give me another cartridge. Oh, hey, friend. He's had enough. Alright, give me your SMG. And you. Cough up. Cough up. Gonna need lots of SMG for the next level. As much... Ooh, hello. As much SMG as we can get our sticky little mitts on. Oh, God. Can you die so I can hit the guy behind you? Thank you. Thank you. And there's one behind us. There is! Sneaky little shit. Sneaking out of the, the bloody... The dark like a pervert. Well, he's dead. Here's the garage. We don't like our enemies perverted. Come on. Ugh. No! Oh, there's another one. Let's get some more shells. Oh, there's two more. Dude! You're ruining everything! Please, let me kill you. We're almost out of shotgun shells now. Well, we've peppered this area. Uh, so that's our last objective there. We need to go back to that med kit. What have we got for the bar? Oh my word. Almost 400 rounds. Yep. Good thing I did go back, actually. Although I'm not sure if we would have failed for leaving him behind. Not worth taking the risk, to be honest. Because like I say, you have to kill 95% of all enemies, but that's ropey. 95% is a bit of an odd... Come on. There we go. Bit of an odd uh, number. Or a bit of an odd percentage, I should say. Because it should be easy to work out. Ooh, lovely. Shotgun shells, more field surgeon packs, and loads of shotgun shells. The game really wants to give you shotgun right now. And, you know, I'm not even mad about that. I'm not even salty. I'm like, okay, game, I use all the shotgun you give me. Because I like me the shotgun. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I've decided for my channel that I'm not really going to focus on new games. I want to focus on the older stuff. And to that end, I've actually recently bought myself an 8-bit do control pad uh, for Mass System and Mega Drive games. And Sega Saturn games, but I don't really have a lot of, yeah, a lot of uh, experience with Sega Saturn games. Boom, baby. Let me just rock that house. Any more? We're on 58. Okay, 58. I killed 57, I think, last time I came down here. Huh. 
Right, let's get out of here and check out Dem Graphics. You know, the, I always liked the end of level um, scenes in old PlayStation games where you could see the next level through a door or something like this, but it was like a really low quality unloaded version. There's something, I don't know, something cool about that. I don't know what it is. Hopefully we killed everybody. Oh man, I love that scene. Yeah, we killed everybody. We got him. Right, let's give her a save. Save it. And then we're going to... What are we on? We're on 50 minutes. we probably got time for the next mission, I think. Uh, right, let's go. Uh, so after we do this mission and the next mission, we're on 75% game completion. Nice. I like. Me likey. Me likey very much. Let's continue. I haven't decided what I'm going to LP after. Uh, yes, I have. That's a lie. I know exactly what I'm going to do after this. Oh, no. As you no doubt read on the delivery schedule, read on the delivery schedule, <clears throat> the Germans have already prepared a large shipment of D2O for transport back to the fatherland. According to the report, this ferry should already be fully loaded. They're just awaiting the arrival of the icebreaker. Von Klemowski from Oslo. It's supposed to be there within the hour. Make your way down the snowy road to the Rajukan dock, destroying any delivery vehicles you encounter along the way. They may have an auxiliary generator powering the dock's defensive perimeter. If they do, locate it, then blow it up. Once you find the ferry, use the last of your charges to demolish the cargo on board. That heavy water must never reach Germany. One last thing. The Norwegian resistance mentioned a new weapon that the Wehrmacht infantry are using up here. Something called a Panzerschreck. I'm not sure what that is, but it doesn't sound good. Tread lightly, mon ami. Yes. Yes, the Panzerschreck. Um, the Bazooka. Yeah, actually the Allies. That's interesting because the Allies uh, came up with the Bazooka first. And the Panzerschreck was reversed engineered from that. Which I think is quite interesting. Um, oh. But the bullshitty thing with the Panzerschreck is it's a one hit kill. It's not fun. Not fun when you get it in the back. Put it that way. But hopefully we'll be out. At least it's nice and cold out here. So we can create this fire and warm ourselves up. Let's take the bar out. Boom. One of two destructs. Destructs? Yes, we destructed the truck. Nice fire. Lovely. Just what you want on a cold winter night. I do like the atmosphere on these levels as well. You know, the fact that the fog kind of ex ex obscures, obs yeah, obscures, that's the right word, obscures most of the level is actually really cool. It adds a nice bit of atmosphere. Let's go see what's down here. Hello? Anybody here? <gasps> We've got some loafers, a trio of loafers. How interesting. Look, they have a Frosty the Snowman. Nice, let's go grab all the gear. Now, you can destroy the snowman. Takes quite a few bullets, but you can destroy him. And there's a nice little surprise waiting for you inside. Yeah, look at that. Field surgeon kit. Don't know if that's going to disappear. I hope not. Because we might need it. We should be okay, but you never know. I didn't really want to destroy that, but... To show it off, I think. I think it makes sense. Hello? Where are the Germans? There's the Germans. There's a guy down there that pans a Shrek as well, so. so I think there is. Ah, oh, bollocks, and I've fallen down. It's really annoying if you fall down off that cliff. Because you can't get back up. Unless you go all the way back. But that's fine. Ooh, can't get past there. Yeah, now, motherfuckers. Lots of shotgun shells. Who the hell is shooting at me? Oi! Enough of your nonsense. Seriously. 
Don't get paid enough to take any of your nonsense. Right. Eh, come on. There we go. Do the thing with the thing. Make the thing happen. Boom. Both trucks disabled. Nice. Okay. We've got a load of ammo for the handgun as well, which is cool. I do wish the handgun was a little bit more useful than it is. It's a fun weapon to use. I don't know why. I think it's just satisfying. The animation and the, and the sound of it is cool. Excuse me. Does someone have something to say? I think we've... Yeah, we've got a rocket guy. We've got a rocket guy. This is a little bit awkward. Shit. At least I thought we had a rocket guy. Who's being a rocket man? Now, we can actually get a Panzer Shrek, but not on this level. Sadly. Okay. I've, I must have forgotten those guys spawn if you um, go back around here. Good thing we killed them. Because otherwise that uh, might have just been enough to knock our ranking down. And let's go see if that um, field surgeon kit is still there. If it's still there, then it's probably not going to disappear. <clears throat> no, that field... Ah, oh, that sucks, man. A field surgeon kit disappears. That's really sucky that that happens. I like my med packs to stay on the level until I've used them. So anybody else that fancies playing that then, do not waste Frosty until you're ready to ooh, until you're ready to use his goodies. Oh, Panzer Shrek! Oh, Panzer Shrek! Go, oh, Panzer Shrek! Oh God, another one! Yeah, there's a lot of them about. So be warned. Oh, hello. Hey, pal. Why don't you come around the corner? Oh, God. So many pounds of Shreks. So many. Shrek is love. Shrek is life. Uh, does anyone remember that? I remember that. Right, nice. Let's keep going back this way. I don't think we've missed any enemies. Looks like some of those guns have disappeared as well, which is a little bit arse, but we don't need the ammo. Oh, wait, no, there's one. We has plenty of bullets right now, ladies and gentlemen. 19 enemies wasted. Oh. You're dead. Can you die so I can have your gun? Oh. Hello. Greetings, oh German friends off in the distance there. Have some bullets. We got plenty of bullets. Oh, hey, friend. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. 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 Wasting too many bullets. And a lot of health for that matter. Okay, well. No time to worry about that now. I always hate it when they go down on one knee. I don't know if they've got a rifle. Or if they've got a Panzer Shrek. Bastards. Utter bastards. What's through here? Ooh. Germans, of course. Oh, yeah. yeah we don't want that med kit. Ooh! <sighs> we just got Panzer Shrek'd. That was cheap. See what I mean by the Panzer Shrek? Like, just one one click like that, and it's all over. It's all over. That's our first death, I think. Damn, son. Right, guys, I'll see you in a minute. I'll catch up to where we were. Right, and we're back. Let's see if we can do that without failing so hard this time, shall we? And that Panzer Shrek guy that killed us, 
I don't know where he is. Very strange. But whatever. Oh. Must Ah, it was you, you little shit. I see ya. Shame they didn't drop the Panzer Shreds. I'm just gonna call him Rocket Launch. Ooh. No, could have been him. Could have been any one of these guys. Holy crap, there's way more rocket guys than I thought. Yeah, it's probably him actually. Dick. Oh. Oh. Easy to get stuck here, but believe it or not, like that's so hard to tell that that's a cave. Because of the graphics. Let's go have a little poke around down here, shall we? Hello, Fritzel. No, you are not allowed on the machine gun. Mine. Mine. I want to have a go. Jerry's. There we go. It says there's actually quite a few of them here, if I remember correctly. Any more for any more? Of course there's more. There's always more. I can do this all day, Jerry's. Sit here on this MG42. I assume it's meant to be an MG42 anyway. I was going to say, I'm sure there's one more. I actually think there's more than one more. There's quite a lot of enemies here. Well, that's fine. Let's go smoke the rest of them. Boom! Oh, hello. Oh, I thought he had a... Whew, fucking starting to sweat there a little bit. I thought he had a bloody rocket. Ooh. Little sneaky dirtbag. You little dirty bastard. Am I some kind of cowboy? Uh, maybe. Ooh, shit. Damn. Ah, uh, you're the cowboys, and I'm the sheriff. I'm taking you in. Alright. You can try and surround me. You just throw a bloody grenade, you madman. You're killing everybody. Us and yourselves, fool. Sit down and think about what you've done. Don't know if we can destroy these. No. Forty-six. I think there's like one enemy left somewhere. That's the end of the level. Alright, let's nuke it. Nuke it, Rico! Nuke it! So that's sabotage. I'm sure there's like one more enemy. I'm sure there's actually more. I thought there were 50 enemies on this level. I'm confuzzled. Is there any more down here? I am. Ooh. I'm genuinely confused, guys. I thought there were more enemies. Like, exactly 50. Well, let's just go back through the level, just to make sure. I mean, you know. It's no big deal if there ain't anybody else here, but... Let's go check behind. Because you never know. The way the game uh, spawns certain enemies in, um, you never know. Forty-six enemies. I'm sure that I'm sure the last time I played this, there was at least forty-seven. Because I remember thinking, "Hmm, Agent Forty-seven." Room forty-six. Might have been the last level though. Yeah, I cleared Frosty out, but I left him there just in case we need the med kit. Better be safe than sorry. Use protection, kids. Now, how far back are we going? Okay, so we're right at the back of the level. Okay, this is bizarre, but there are no more enemies. Let's go back down. And when you walk back through an entire level, it's crazy. 
Uh, just to see how short the levels are. But they're quite packed, you know. There's a lot to do in these little stretches. Pretty sure I blew all the boxes up as well, but maybe not. My brain is not as fast as it used to be. Like my PC, actually. No, nah, looks like we're good though. Oh well, sorry guys, I've wasted your time and my time. Got loads for this though. Don't know where we're carrying all this ammo. Was it best not to ask silly questions like that? Probably best not to ask. Nobody there. Let's double check down here. Oh! I knew it! Bloody knew it! Where did those guys come from? Seriously! We... We walked past them. We somehow walk. There we go! Told you. 50. Well, that's saying 49. See what I mean? How did we walk. You know what? You know what? Don't, don't, don't even matter. Don't even matter. No mad. <sighs> Bloody good thing I went back and checked, though. How, uh, the way the enemies spawn in this, I'm telling you guys, it's weird. I'm sure there's 50 though. Well, let's see. I can always replay it again. How bizarre is that? Ah, uh, the ME. One has to pour countless man hours and watch marks into the various secret weapons programs, especially in the area of jet propulsion. Here, the airframe of a Messerschmitt 163 undergoes a somewhat successful test. The 163 Comet was an amazing little fighter, though it was often more dangerous to the pilots who flew it than it was to enemy bombers. But despite its drawbacks, the jet age had begun. Yeah, that was an interesting uh, aircraft. Oh, we got the top marks anyway. Yeah, the Messerschmitt um, 163 was a jet, but not as we know it today. It had, um, as far as I can remember, it had no throttle control. So the engine, as soon as the engine was ignited, it just went straight off. Um, it had seven minutes of fuel. And it wasn't a jet turbine engine either. It was more like a missile. Or a rocket like we have that sends shit up into space. Yeah, very strange design. And uh, obviously once it ran out of fuel, pilot had to glide it back um, to land. And they only had one chance to land. So if they bungled the landing, they did. Because um, you couldn't go back round and have another, another go. And... The fuel mix that it used was two different chemicals. I can't remember them now. There's an oxidizer and something else. And they were lethal. Absolutely lethal. Um, bizarre thing. Didn't make very many, I don't think, because of how dangerous they were. And loads and loads of pilots were killed um, learning to fly them in training. <sighs> Imagine that. A plane that had seven minutes of fuel and they didn't have um they only had one wheel at the back the actual um underneath the plane it was just a giant skid <laughs> yeah man <laughs> strange things huh anyway anyway we completed the mission another best case scenario so let's give the game a save Whilst I check the memory card, uh, give it a save there. We're almost done with this game now. I've really, really enjoyed playing this as well. So, game saved. 
Now, let's return to the war room. We're going to go have a little look at our medal and the code. So, what medal did we get? I went to new game. No. I don't care who you are. Now we're going to have to go through like a million loading screens. God damn it. <laughs> Why did I do this? I know I shouldn't have woken up this morning. I know I shouldn't have woken up this morning. <sighs> I wonder if it'd be easier to reset the PlayStation. But then I've got to move the mic, the camera, and everything. <sighs> Alright, I'll see you in a minute, guys. Always got to make sure you've been a good girl. Right. Now, let's try that again, shall we? So, what medal have we got? None. Because I need to load the game. Right, let's have a little look at our medal. So, we have got five out of eight medals. And we have the Norwegian, excuse me, the Norwegian War Cross. And, of course, we unlocked a new code. Which was this one here. What have we got? Ah! 4x firing rate. Yeah. So that's actually quite a. It's one of those modes that sounds better than it actually is. Um, it makes your weapons fire four times as fast, but you've still got to reload them. And a lot of them have very shallow magazines, as is. You tear through ammo as well at a frightening pace. However, we do get an infinite ammo cheat a little bit later on. So that does make it a little bit more usable, should we say. But yeah, I always, always found that one was a bit of a strange one. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.